Hey, what's going on, Scorpio? Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your August monthly read. Almost forgot what month we were in. It's very hot here. And it's getting to me. <laughs> uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all cross watchers, roles can be reversed. And it is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. So if you like this video, drop a thumbs up. <laughs> and always feel free to comment. So let's get it. First we have for Scorpio. What is going on for Scorpio for August? All right, Scorpio. So the first thing I have is there's someone that constantly thinks about you. They only think about you. Now, I feel like this is a person that you recently that you recently had a tower moment. Like I feel like it's not recent as in last week, but I feel like it's still fairly fresh. But I feel like it's over. I feel like it's over. I feel like you had your tower moment. But this person can't let go. This person still const constantly thinks about you. I feel like they have a lot of regrets. They feel like they didn't give to the situation. They feel like they didn't give everything they had. And, and, and I feel like I feel like it's not over for them. Even though you had that tower moment, you came to the realization that it's not a person for you. This person still wants to come forward. They're not happy with that assessment. They don't think it's over. They can't let go. They see how how good you're doing, and it, that hurts them even more. They feel like you're doing better without them, and I feel like you are. Now, I feel like... The reason this ended is because there was no forward movement. You didn't feel like you were getting from this person what you expected. And it came to an end. It was going nowhere. And like I said, you're better off, you know, you're doing better without them. Because they were holding you back. This person truly loves you. But like I said, this person didn't give everything they had. And they know they didn't. And that's what the regret is about. They regret not giving, taking it seriously. Not giving to the situation. And I feel like it's because they didn't know what they wanted. You know, they weren't sure of what they wanted. They played too many damn games. And now that you're gone... Like, now that you're gone, they just can't seem to get over this. They can't... You know, they're not happy. Without you, they aren't happy. And they realize that if they would have just gave to the situation, if they would have gave 
100% to the, the situation, things may be different. They're sure of it. They're very unhappy. Now, I feel like it's only been a short time. But I feel like in that short time, this person had a, a lot of big changes. You know, they've come to a lot of real... You know, real emotional decisions. They've realized how badly how badly they screwed up and i feel like because now i feel like there was this is tension that has happened before i feel like this may be an on and off situation in the past so they never really took it seriously but now they're starting to realize that it is serious because you're not coming back I, I, I do truly feel that they love you and I, I, I truly feel that they, they know they messed up. And they want to communicate. They want to tell you that. They want to let you know how badly they know they messed up. And I feel like they went through a lot of big changes. I feel like they didn't take you seriously before, but they're taking you seriously now. With that, ten, with that eight of wands, they want to let you know. And this person is willing to do whatever it takes to show you what they're capable of. Like, I feel like... I feel like they, you know, they want to tell you that they want to move forward. They, 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 they want a second chance. They want to make things right. And when they come towards you, they're not asking you for... You know you to get back with them they're not gonna ask you that they're gonna show you what they have to offer like I don't feel like they're coming back with an offer they're coming back to show you how much they they realize that they screwed up they know it it's clear this person has a had a big realization of what they did wrong and they want to make that right and they're coming back in a big way. Like, they're coming back to show you what it is that they're capable of. And they're coming back to show you that what you've seen in them wasn't who they really are. They're going to show you that they can make something of themselves. They want to show you that they can be there for you. And that they can give you what you need. And they want to show you how, how, how great you guys can be together. And how much, how much work they're willing to put in. To make this right. Like I said, this person is not coming back to try to try to win you back by, you know, they're not going to come back and, and and try to, you know, get you to get back with them right away. They're going to put in the work. Work first. That's how much you mean to them. They're willing to put it in. Even if you don't accept them back, they want to show you what they're truly capable of so you can make... A decision based on who they really are. I feel like they, they, they shut you out before. I feel like they didn't give to the situation because they didn't know what they had. But they want to build stability. They want to show you that they're getting their shit together. And it starts from the moment they, they, they let you know how they feel. They, want, they just want to tell you how they feel. They just want to open up to you and let you know what it is that they want from you. What it is that what they didn't give to you and why. Why they didn't take you seriously. And now they want to let you know that they are going to take you seriously. And you need to take, you know, I feel like you honestly need to take them seriously. A lot of good energy here. 
I feel like they played a little bit too much before, and I feel like they made mistakes. And I'm not saying you should accept them back, and I don't feel like they're going to try to get you back right away. I feel like they're going to put in the work first, and they don't care how long it takes. And I feel like you will truly get what you want from this person. I don't think this is truly over. I feel like there was a... I feel like when we had this tower moment, you were done with that person that you were with. I don't feel like this person coming back is that person anymore. I feel like in this loss, they took it hard. They took it really hard. But... On a good note, they realize what it is they did wrong. And they're coming back full full speed ahead. Like I said, I, I, I truly feel like you're get, you, you will get what you want from this person. You're finally going to get the person that you thought they were in the first place. The reason why you even dealt with them. What you've seen in the past, that glimpse of who they are, is now coming to life. I feel like this person woke up. They woke up and you weren't there. Now with this person that you're dealing with, we have we have a lot of air, Aquarius energy. Uh, we also have some Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, some fire in there as well. Um, but I'm getting a sense of a lot of Earth, Aquarius, or um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So I feel like you're, you're, you're going to get to deal with an Earth sign with some fire in their charts and some, and some air. Or a fire sign with some air and some Earth in their charts. But like I said, they're coming back. They know what they did wrong. And they feel like once you see them for who they really are, and, and if you give them that chance just to show you, I feel like you're really going to be happy with what you, you know, happy that you took a second look. We don't always get it right the first time. Everybody makes mistakes. It's what, it's what you do after that. And I feel like this person really wants to make things right. Like I'm getting a lot of good energy. And like I said, I feel like losing you is was probably the, the catalyst they needed to make that change and to be the person they, that they were supposed to be in the beginning. But at the end of the day, it's free will. It's up to you, but this is what I see coming for you. So be good. Take care. Stay safe. And always trust your intuition.